Hey, 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 Sisters, we as are you know, sisters. and we're always together. And we did not plan to wear purple together no, and today, I'm like, but whatever. it happened. It always happens to us. We usually dress alike. Mm -hmm. Not planned at all. But <laughs> um, the other day, I posted um, a question, and many of you have responded. So my goal, our goal, is to answer those questions the that you secret post is out. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. And we usually get the same questions. Back and forth, we're always talking to a lot of women that cross paths with us, or are interested, or are curious to know what is it exactly that we do. So we decided, let's just why share. not answer them together, right? So one of the questions that a lot of people want to know is, how can they do what we do, right? What does it take to be us, right? Not like to be Unidis or like to be no. Norris because unfortunately there won't be any other way. We ones are all that uniquely way. made in our way. Yeah. And we all have our individual gifts if we are allowing ourselves to see that and to blossom where we We're have planted. been planted. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that has provided for us to be where we are right now are the these yeah. types of questions. And we're going to ask you to see if you answer them and then if that works with you then the answer you'll find your own answer in answering the questions i know so for example <laughs> how can you be how do you know if you can be us or do what we do the biggest and the first question i would ask is do you have a struggle that comes or is related to fitness nutrition overall health or overall health and that involves emotional Yes, emotional well-being. Emotional well-being, I think, is key. Physical. Physical, and we're not doctors or physicians, no. but we have overcome certain limitations that because being overweight... Because your physical appearance affects all other areas of your life, so that's what I mean by that. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, your caloric or your right. cholesterol. We're not physicians in that way, but the physical does affect. So if you have a fitness... Um, you, you're, you're stressed out with fitness or nutrition. You have no idea what to eat or how to eat certain things. Um, maybe you can be us. Yeah, you can. Have I will you... explain in a few. Um, do you have difficulties sticking to a program? Are you a stop and go kind of girl? Are you a professional <laughs> yo-yo dieter? Ooh. Like, do you hear of something? Like, I remember I did, now that Beyonce is pregnant, it came to my mind. <laughs> Um, I did the Beyonce diet, the one oh, that you the, drink, the, drink. Yeah, the lemon yeah, and, the, and, the and the cayenne the pepper, yes, the pepper and hi Elena. Hello. I, I did that. I, I drank that tea. I drank that thing for like three days and I literally was burning my stomach. The detox. I was looking for fast results. Quick fixes. So are you that type of person that's looking for a quick fix? I think you did pills. I've okay, so I've tried everything out there. I you can speak to me. I've tried it all, and we are sisters. We dress alike. Everything we used to do or still do, we would we share. Would share. So if I would try a diet and we loved it, I would tell them there was about it and vice versa. But I was the pill goer because for me, popping a pill it's easier. It was easier. I didn't have to think. Look, I'm honest. I didn't have to think. I didn't have to plan. I just had to pop the pill, drink water, and then I would get really skinny in my face. And who cares all the flat? And then everything else because I didn't work on that. And then when I stopped the pill, everything came back. So if you have those struggles, then I think you can be us. Um, are you an inconsistent person? So you're the type of person that you buy everything you see on an infomercial. You get excited. You're like, yes. Oh, and you're I like, so this much. is it. Some this is the magic that ends up being a I towel one. holder mm -hmm. and then you don't know what to do with it because and it's you stuck are in your collecting <laughs> a lot of dust in your house yeah and you don't know because you know you may have a lot of memberships to different places and you may not even show up and then I, you have the gym membership and you maybe just show up maybe once or twice and then you figure out oh my god i gotta look for the locker room pack my gym bag before i go get dressed in the locker room spend two hours and commute so then later, come home, come home, try to, to figure it out. 
deal with that all over again. So I was there. If you lack in consistency and someone that you say you're gonna do something and then when you fall off, nobody follows up with you and nobody checks in on the you. The no support is just you against you because who else cares about your goals and your health and fitness? Because and speak, you made that decision. I don't need to support you on that. Like peace. Exactly. <laughs> and do you have a supportive system? Do you have someone? Um, do you have someone that holds you to your word and helps you when you are like out of lack of motivation? Someone who doesn't tell you, come on, you could do it. Or are do you have those people that when you go to Don't a dinner up. party, they're like, I come on, it's una mejundia. Tú no comes you, only live once. you only live once and every weekend is the same thing. Start Monday, start Monday. Monday you'll start. <laughs> or the best one, I like this one. This one is, you know, the day I die, at least I'll take with me what all I the ate. delicious foods I ate. That's a great, that's a good one. that's a great concept. We've heard it all. Um, or girl, you don't need to lose more You're weight. Skinny You're skinny already. Come te se bicocho. Come te se tostón. You know? Do you have that in your life? Then you need a support system. I'm just thinking, right? Are you interested in long term results? And we sort of touched upon this. Now that is key because I find that when I was in my ends I was frustrated I was overwhelmed overweight at the verge of just saying yes to depression pills because I was just done I had no energy I was sluggish I just had my child back then my second child Elias I was 215 pounds I'm 5'1 and I just needed a solution and again this is coming from a person that always opted for the quick fix and I always recruited for the pill or the you know a meal plan frozen foods whatever you name it point system that equal to nothing and then I would start but I wouldn't finish exactly I wasn't committed to that yes for the long haul I was just waiting for the deadline it was like a diet with dates that ended and those are some I think this is another thing if you are the type of person that is wondering can you be one of us like are you able to stick to a program and follow directions and listen to the advice of people who have already done what, what it is you're expecting to do? The blueprint. Because a lot of times, you know, whatever you do, if you follow the directions that is expected of you, you will see results. But you have to stick to it long enough to see the results come through. And in the process, you realize that it really just depends on you. Yeah. Because if you learn and acquire these skills, they are going to be for the long run. They are able for you to not only keep yourself accountable to the group and the team and keep yourself healthy, but then you're going to instill that in your family. Mm -hmm. Then it comes into your kitchen. And, and then everybody's you motivated back. by you and your energy because you change. The physical changes because the inside is changing. Exactly. And as your think, posture changes, you feel more And you confident. now have more energy. So can you be us can you do what we do i believe so i think so too. i believe so now no thought in other my mind because if is, i did it anybody can do it the other question is do you like people <laughs> that's always that always kills me because it's so true <laughs> and that's something that i ask all of my team members when they come in and i interview them if they're going to be part of my team because if you don't like people, if you're not in, you don't have a service heart, then you can't do this. You no. can't do you this. You can't do what we do. Because this requires you to love on people and to understand where people are coming from. Because you're not going to go to school to teach someone. You're going to teach from your own experiences. And from your own struggles, you're going to help someone overcome because what it you is overcame. they're trying to do. Because you've already been there and you've already done that. And you, you speak from a place of conviction. So when you hear Nervous and I speak about what we do, right? The whole secret of what is it exactly? Like, what is it that they do? They work out every day. They show us how they cook. They they're show us that they're together. drinking their shake. They're always, they're the always girls. motivating they're always and inspiring dreaming. somebody. <laughs> they're with these group of people. They're always happy and smiling. How do you why? do that? How do you travel? How do you go there? Well, you make a decision. You make a decision for yourself first because it all starts with us. We need to decide to make a change. You need to be so fed up with your current situation, and I'm sorry to say this, and I've learned this, and it's not bad, to hate mm -hmm. how you feel. You and it's to. from that place 
of, I, I had to hate. of a need of change. And when you have that desire within you, then it's possible. Because then you're willing to go through the course, to go through the trial. Because you know what's behind you. And, and you not already go know what there. you've been through. You already know what you've done and you've failed over and over and over again. So all you have to really do is decide, mm -hmm. make the choice to be a difference within your own home. Choose to follow directions and stick to the plan until you see success because you're trusting that the person who is leading you is, has already been there, done that, and it will show you the way. And trust the process. And the next thing is be willing to do exactly what you did to succeed, share that with other people, and welcome them into your life. Yep. There's a power that happens when you give to others exactly what you have received. Many times, and this was the big lesson that I had to learn when I went through a tr difficult situation in my life, and it had to do with my marriage. I had to literally keep put my hands up and say, Lord, take over and you do what you need to do so that I can remain sane. But I never questioned God on why I was going through my process. All I oh, asked, what can I learn? What can I learn? I learned that one the hard way. And you learn it hard because a lot of times it's, why me? Why me? You play the victim mentality. And at the end of the day, God is not going to do anything to you to hurt you. It's all to make you stronger and to grow wiser. And if you're in that stance where you're struggling through something, ask God and say, what do you want me to learn? What can I take from this experience? And in order for you to graduate from that position and that struggle and that that place that you don't want to live in, I have news. You're going to have to share that with somebody. And you can talk to an alcoholic. You can talk to a drug addict. Mm -hmm. You can talk to a person who overcame fitness and weight and, over and a lot of issues. And until that moment that you don't break the lock and open the doors and start to share the lessons that you have learned with someone else, you oh, won't man. graduate that because whatever happens to you brings a lesson that makes you stronger but it's not for you to keep it to yourself it's for you to keep on planting the same seeds so that nobody else goes through the same struggle and share the testimony so that can so someone else can see it's possible it's possible and here you have standing before you someone who was overweight for with 60 pounds right yeah i had 50 i was an overworked under overwhelmed teacher who all my life dreamed of having that dream job of you know everything happened to me but I got burnt out the system burnt me out and I needed a way out but I was stuck I was stuck and thankfully I was also overweight <laughs> and I needed something to change so I changed my habits I stopped being a yo-yo dieter I stopped looking for quick fixes, and I dedicated myself to following directions. So let me get this straight. If you're looking for change, you must change what you're currently doing. Exactly. You can't stay the same if you're looking to change. And that's something that I, it had to clip, click on me, and I didn't recruit to the pill. And I refused to because I already knew that I was going to take the same the same path. route, like the same route that led me to all my failures. So I said, no, 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 no. I'm going to choose the other route that I've never tried, but I'm going to give it my own because I know that it works. Exactly. Because you see someone else who's teaching you the ropes and you're like, I got this. And here's the thing. If someone else has done it, you can too. Absolutely. And that's my opinion. See? That's how I believe I've in been testimonies of and stories because if you can do it, you are a woman just like me. Mm -hmm. Tú tienes dos ojos, dos piernas, dos manos. Una cabeza que Dios me dio y un potencial y un corazón para amar. That, we're all made equally. That's a beautiful That's thing. That's all we have. And we have what's most important, the gifts that God has planted on us, right? But it is on our decisions to blossom and to just share. And to just put it out there and offer your hands to help and to be of support to someone else because you don't want to go through the same thing over again. So it's not no gimmick, it's not no like, oh, okay. God. And there is, I'm not going to say there is an investment. You oh, do yeah. need to invest. Well, there's an investment in everything. In, in everything, because like whatever instance, comes free, you should question it. My hair, I wanted my hair done. 
I don't know how to blow dry my and hair. And I couldn't blow dry it today. And she couldn't blow dry my hair. So you know what I had to do? I had to invest in me. The same way with my Manny and Patties. It's me time. Instead of, obviously, now I make some sacrifices because we also need to be smart and, and wise in our sp expenses. I'm a mom of two, and we have our own bills, right? Life happens to all of us. We're not exempt. No. What we needed to do was swap from my regular Starbucks venti <laughs> to my yummy delicious Shakeology. But you make those decisions, and you guess, make that that choice and that commitment because to all the rewards that I receive. And to be honest with you, I probably spent for my first investment, and then after that, Shakeology covers its own. I don't pay for Shakeology out of pocket. Like, Absolutely. it comes back to me. And the reason that it comes back to you, because many of them don't know, oh, I is, help I help other people and provide to them the same support and team that I needed and tools that I needed to be successful. And that's all the investment that it takes. So it's not like you're going to make a huge investment on something and you're going to... I like, loved it that much. Um, this is a business. It's something where you're going to first fix and help yourself. So you're going to give your, your body the nutrients that it needs. You're going to focus on being an example to others. So you're going to focus on committing to a workout program that works for you. Joining a supportive community where people will guide you, provide insights and on what to do, tips and tricks on how to live a healthy, happy, fulfilling life. And then you share it with other people. You do the same thing that we're doing right now. And the and rewards are endless. It's like you lose the weight. I lost the 60. You lost the 50. But the gains have been... I've retired from my job. I retired from being a teacher. And I'm free from the whole 9 to 5 gig. I, I'm no longer trapped We're in a home. cubicle. I am with our children. We're loud kids that are upstairs. We need to go up We're to. present. And you know what? At the end of the day, we found our passion. We found our purpose. And that's it. So what does it take to be us? A need to want to, want to overcome and to want more because oh, you need to want more. you need to want and more. you need change to occur in your life so bad that you're willing to make changes in your life absolutely that's the only way you're going to make an impact in your life and then the lives of others so for you if you're considering being part of our team if you're considering making changes in your health or your fitness all you have to do is reach out to us as you can tell we don't bite we're women just like you and, we and we're willing to, to get to know you and even if you know you want to just check to see if this is the right fit for you comment below or inbox me um my email is unirisfitness at gmail.com and mine is norris ascona at gmail.com so message us both message us whomever you want to speak to or and here through facebook here on Facebook, comment below and let us know. All if right. this is something that is not for you, but you know of someone who might be interested and might have the qualifications that we've just shared, tag them along, share this away, because I truly believe that it is possible for anyone who is willing to put in the time and who is open and to open. change and willing to give to others what they've That's received. It. That's pretty much what it is. So be blessed and don't forget, you've got to be a blessing to somebody else. That's my motto. <laughs> be blessed, guys. Have a good one.